All right, so it's been about a year since the uh, Meteor 65 Pro came out from Beta FPV, and I still have the original version here. I'm going to just talk about what the updated uh, specs are in this new 2022 version. It's been about, yeah, it's been 11 months, 12 months since this came out, and a lot of improvements have been made in this updated model. I believe it's the same price that uh, the original came out as. Um, but just going to basically point out the um, hardware differences and also, quite importantly, the flight characteristic differences as well. This one was actually quite a bit better. So let's just go over this quickly. The biggest obvious difference here is the motors. You've got these new uh, silver motors, they're 0802 uh, SE is the branding, and 19,500 kV, the same kV. It's got a, a PCB connector on the bottom for soldering on the motor wires. You have a updated flight controller. This is um, the version 2.0 F4 ELRS board. And this one has the updated antenna. So it's got the antenna wire, not the flat antenna. And also, this is no longer a um, SPI receiver. So the Express LRS receiver is a serial receiver. It's using UART1. They've updated the uh, canopy here. This is a quite a bit different design from the first canopy. And I think that they uh, opened it up there for more airflow and still does a pretty decent job at protecting the stuff underneath. But I think they um, uh, opened it up for airflow for the video transmitter, um, which I think is the same. I think it's the M03 video transmitter. It goes up to 350 milliwatts. They updated the camera. So this is a new camera. I think it's called a CO3 camera. It's a 4x3 camera with a bigger sensor and higher resolution than the camera that came on the original. Um, so it's got a, a wider field of view and more importantly a more wider vertical field of view which is handy because you can see the angle that the default camera angle on this one is quite a bit higher than on the original. I'd say roughly five to ten degrees more camera angle but um, I don't feel like I'm forced to go super fast because it is the, the vertical field of view is quite wide so the frame is I think pretty much the same you can examine here and I don't really see a huge difference in the frame other than the color of course and it still uses the same 300 milliamp hour 1s batteries with a BT 2.0 connector and we still have the same 35 millimeter gem fan props, three bladed. And just quickly, just show you what comes in the, uh, I guess the packaging, you get this nice case. This is what typically comes with most of their models now. And you get your um, USB charger. This is also a battery tester as well. Two of the 1S batteries, a USB-C cable. You get a screwdriver and a support card like usual. Spare set of props and then you get these little decoration items here. And that's for the canopy. You can add those on top of that. It's a little bit of extra weight. Things like uh, one and a half grams, a little over one gram. And then you do have these extra pieces for the camera to give it a different angle for this canopy. But I've noticed that because of where the VTX connector is, it's it doesn't look like you're going to be able to lower that camera angle. Um, it looks like it's putting up right against the video transmitter. So, yeah, this might be like an oversight in terms of what their, their overall design. But the I have no problems with this wider field of view on this camera to see uh, further down. So I can actually see right in front and the part of the duct show up. So it's I think it's going to be okay. You don't I don't feel like I needed to. Uh, lower the camera angle. When I first looked at this without actually flying, I was like, whoa, that camera angle looks pretty high. But after I flew it, I realized that uh, maintaining speed and controlling it with the wider field of view was okay. And then uh, one other thing to note that someone will probably point out is that this uh, micro FL connector for the whip antenna that's out here is secured down by this little piece of heat shrink. And that is wrapping around the bottom, on, on, the, on the underside, there's the little, there's a little piece of the video transmitter that juts out and then that heat shrink wraps around that. So um, it's going to be pretty tough to rip this off because it is it's secured down pretty well. Uh, but yeah, of course, you know, in any hard, super hard crash, anything is possible. But I think if you're worried about that micro FL connector easily coming off, I don't think it's going to come off that easily. All right, so let's compare the weights. 
Uh, this one's a little bit heavier than the version from last year. So it's 22.76 grams. I think in the product page it says it's 23 grams. This was last year's version. It's coming in at 22 grams. It's about a gram heavier. And I think that the extra weight is actually in the cam uh, the canopy. Because uh, the video transmitter is the same. This canopy I think is lighter than this one. I haven't actually taken it off to weigh the difference. But everything else is the same. Camera might be a little bit heavier. That's possible. Now they're saying that the motors are a little bit lighter than the previous versions, like 0.15 grams. So it's roughly half a gram lighter overall. So I think the extra weight is going into this canopy. So potentially um, this is a lot tougher and less breakable while at the same time allowing airflow for the electronics. So yeah, the you know, last thing to note is on the flying characteristics, the pintune out of this, uh, out of the box, this one was much better than the original version that came out a year ago. I actually made a video where I actually did some pit tuning on this one. I'll link those videos, those old videos in the video description if you want to compare. Uh, I just had um, the pit tune out of the box wasn't very good on the original, but they've done a very good job on the new 2022 version. So it's not just uh, cosmetic changes. I think a lot of people said, oh, they just looks, you know, they just updated the looks and with the colors and the canopy. Uh, yes, that's true. They, they made some um, cosmetic changes, but uh, they've, they've changed the motors. They've changed the camera. The camera is a much improved camera. And um, also they put a much improved um, pit tune on here. So I think that's a, a significant difference. So you can get this out of the box and fly it and just put your rates on and you're going to have a pretty good experience with this one. Also regarding the pit tune, I think another thing that they added was um, RPM filter and I think Blue Jay firmware is standard out of the box in this one. So there's going to be less work or actually pretty much no work in terms of getting this uh, up and running because it's got a, a good tune out of the box. You can pretty much just put your rates on, bind it to your transmitter and go and fly it. So they've also updated the other models in the Meteor series, the uh, Meteor 65, which is the 31 millimeter propeller version of this, as well as the Meteor 75, which is the 40 millimeter propeller version. They have the same 0802 motors. Obviously the frames are different. I believe the canopy, the camera, and the video transmitters are the same on those other two models. And they also have updated the Meteor 85, I'm not going to be reviewing any of those three, at least the analog versions. They are going to send me a Meteor 85 HD walk snail edition, which is going to have different motors, not the same as this series. So if you're curious about the other analog versions of this in the Meteor series, basically the 65 and 75 is pretty much the same as this with just different size props. Uh, frame and uh, the other electronics are going to be the same and then the Meteor 85 is updated with the bigger motors the two inch props uh, I think I did a video on the analog version of that one from previous from from last year but I'm not going to be able to do a review on that one but unless you really want to see one you know if you, if you guys uh, really want to see a video let me know in the comments below if, if they see enough people interested in that perhaps I can persuade them to send me one of those but anyway, that's going to do it for this video. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know. Talk to you guys in the next one.